Billout lets you build powerful forms on top of Smart Suite. Today, I'm going to look at an example use case and see how you could do that. Here I have an inventory tracking database where I have a few different tables like products, manufacturers, and also purchase orders. What I want is I want a quick and effective form that lets manufacturers create new purchase orders that is styled to my brand. Let's hop into fill out and see how we could do that. I'll pick Smart Suite to store my form responses and pick a theme which I can customize later. Once I've connected Smart Suite, I can pick from my solution and also the app that I want to actually store the responses in, which is my purchase orders app. Once we're in fill out, on the left hand side here, you'll see all of our fields have automatically be, been pulled in and I just simply have to drag and drop them and they'll automatically be connected to my proper smart suite fields. So I can go ahead and continue building this form. I'll drag in the status of the purchase order and the dates. I'll also show you how to pre-fill fields now. So in the case where I'm creating a purchase order, most of the time it's for the current date. In this case, I want to pre-fill this field to automatically be set to the current date that the person is filling out the form. So I'll select today as a default value. This will give users a quick edge to filling out the form a little bit faster since we already know that this is most likely their answer. I'll continue and drag in the product type and the quantity, and finally the product. This is actually a linked record field, which points to our products table. And we can select from all the different products in the other app. What I want to do is I want to add some conditional logic, which is very simple and fill out to only show this when I've selected a product type. I'll go ahead and say that I only want to show this when the product type on this page is not empty. So right now it's hidden, but as soon as I pick one, it will be set to show it. What I also want to do here is I want to only show manufacturers the appropriate products that is relevant for the product type that they picked. Because let's say I had 3000 products, it's really a pain to scroll through or search for the ones that you want. So let's go ahead and add a filter on here. I'll go ahead and show the product types here just so we can understand it a little bit better and say that we only want to show the products that correspond to the type that I've picked in this actual form. So once I've picked jacket here, we'll see that this only narrows down to the jackets that I have in the products table. Sweet. So this form is pretty much ready to go. I could test this right now, but let's add a little bit more customization to it. I'll add a title here and say that this is a purchase order form. And anywhere in fill out, you can highlight text and style it any way you'd like. I'll just center this and underline it. And I also naturally, since this is a purchase order form, want to display the total price that this comes out to. I'll set that up right now and explain how we did that. Great. So I've done a little bit of work here and I've added this section here, which is displaying the price of the current product because we can reference previous answers anywhere in fill out. What I mean by that is anywhere you could type the at symbol and select from various different properties here, similar to how we did when we had the pre-filling. In this case, I'm gonna pick the calculation that I defined, which is essentially just the multiplication of the product price and the quantity. Let's go ahead and create a sample record now and see what our form looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is a demo purchase order, select some status, and I'll pick a product type, which is gonna then reveal my product field. I'm gonna pick the leather jacket, which we could see in this case is coming out to a price of 539 so far. I'll add a quantity of 10 and we'll see that this automatically multiplies within our form to come out to 5,390. Let's submit that and see that automatically appear in our smart suite. So this is the order that we just created. We have all the fields that we filled in here respectively. And let's hop back into fill out and see what we can do now. Since the form is ready, we can go ahead and press the publish button, which will give us a unique link to this form. We could send that out to all of our manufacturers 
Or we could go ahead and customize the form more by, for example, adding multiple pages, like a cover page to welcome users to the form, some payment collection, maybe even a login to verify that the manufacturer is actually who they say they are, and maybe even a scheduling page to schedule some time to meet with me. I can also embed this on my site on the share tab. We could see a bunch of embedding options and we're pretty much done with our form. Those are the basics of what you can do with SmartSuite and fill out. And I'm really excited for you to try it out and let us know if you have any questions.